with the mindset of being at home, but I didn't set these goals knowing how I was gonna feel during that time and knowing what I was gonna need mentally. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am here to talk about my quarterly goals. Back in December, I shared a new process that I had come up with to focus on my goals for 2020. Instead of setting eight or 10 or however many overarching goals for the year, which is what I did in 2019, and then chip away at those over the course of the year, I decided to pick eight overarching themes, if you will, eight sections of my life that I really wanted to focus focus on developing in 2020. And then each quarter, I would pick a more specific goal, something really tangible that I could feel like I either can check off and say, yep, I did it, or nope, I didn't really, didn't really get to that one, but something that was a little bit more tangible each quarter so that I would feel like I was accomplishing something throughout the year as opposed to just saying like, all right, yeah, another quarter passed and I did make progress on this generic goal that I set at the beginning of the year. And then each month, I will break those quarterly goals down even further further into action steps and make progress on them. And I do videos here every month where I share all of my monthly action steps for my quarterly goals. But now it's time for a quarterly refresh. And so far, it's been working really well. I think I elaborated on this a little bit more last quarter, but it, it really has felt good to focus in on something very specific for each of these sections and feel like I can transition at the end of a quarter to something a little bit different. It gives me something kind of almost to look forward to, like, hey, you have this idea, something that you wanna work on, like, let's put it to next quarter. So in this video, I'm gonna start by going through all of my quarter two goals. I elaborated on them in last quarter's video, but today I'm gonna share with you how they went, which ones I felt like I did a good job on and which ones I felt like I kind of fell apart on. But I'm gonna talk through all of that. and then and I will share with you all the goals that I have set for quarter three. So let's start with the first goal I have on my list for quarter three, which was my apartment related goal. And it was to use what I have. So part of it was to organize these things that I have what I feel like is an abundance of so that I could focus more on utilizing them and then actually utilize them. So some of the examples that I had on here were food, stickers, tea, face masks, candles. And what's funny is the COVID-19 situation really helped with some of those because I was home a lot more. So using up the food that was in our pantry and our freezer, using up my face masks because I was at home, using up candles because I was home all the time, it helped. It really did help that goal become much more of a reality because we were home a lot more during quarter, actually pretty much all of quarter two. I will say that I set these goals at the very beginning of the pandemic, thinking that if I had to do all of these while being at home, I could. Like I didn't put anything related to like travel or something that wasn't going to be a possibility. I don't think I thought that we were gonna be home the entire quarter, but it, it worked out. Back to the goal. There are some of these categories that I still feel like I could definitely improve upon using more consistently, like tea and stickers. I do feel like I did a good job. I have it all organized. That was a big piece of it. And so I definitely would give myself the check mark for this one. All right, the next one, maybe not so much. The next goal was to establish an evening routine. So get off my phone, have less light, read before bed, use the humidifier, etc. A big piece of it was just things were so up in the air a lot during this quarter. And I really wanted to focus on not losing my morning routine during this quarter. And also, I mean, just mentally, we were all in such a different space. And so you know, my evening routine just didn't get prioritized. And I have tried, I tried, I tried a lot of things and a lot of things didn't work. So I'm still trying to figure that out. And it is likely you'll see evening routine in a future goal, but it, I definitely didn't feel like I accomplished it this quarter. And my, my original thought going into this year was that I was gonna do morning Q1, evening Q2, back to morning for Q3, add in some new things, and then back to evening for Q4 and add in some new things. And you'll see that's not, not even close to what I'm doing for Q3 because I just, it has been all over the place. But I tried, sometimes you just gotta try things and sometimes they just don't work. All right, the next one was memory keeping related. And all I wrote for this goal was to make progress. 2019 monthly special projects. I didn't do this one either. I did zero memory keeping during quarter two. Like I put no pictures down in an album. I didn't write anything. Like I did nothing during this quarter. And again, I think it was just 
where I was mentally. It was something I knew I could do at home. Like, hey, you're home. You have all this extra time at home. Take advantage of it. But I wasn't in a place. I wasn't mentally in a place to do it. I also didn't feel comfortable going to get my photos printed. I don't have a printer that prints photos. And I know that I can get them shipped. But that was also something that felt unnecessary, like getting extra things delivered to the apartment during this time. It just, it didn't feel right. So memory keeping didn't happen this quarter. And that's kind of a bummer. I kept getting stuff delivered. I kept buying memory keeping supplies, but I didn't actually make any progress on it. All right, the next one was our wedding related goals. And I put to set specific goals instead of just spend time on wedding stuff. So for Q2, I have mail to save the dates, hotel, Austin plan, and video. I'm not sure what I meant. Oh, maybe videographer is what I meant. Oh, that maybe should have made it to my Q3 list. Well, that it's, it's not on there now. We'll see if I get to it. I will tell you, I, we made very little progress here too. It just didn't feel like something that we could work on right now. It felt like something, I don't, I don't know. I felt so much for all of the brides and grooms that had to reschedule, postpone, cancel all the things with the weddings that it just didn't feel right to keep planning ours. There was also so much uncertainty. Like at one point it was like, well, of course we're going to be done by May of next year. Of course it's going to be fine. And then at one point it was like, we're not going to have a vaccine by then. So it might not be fine. And there were just so many things up in the air about the wedding that it made me feel not it just i didn't feel right continuing to plan it the one thing that we did do this quarter was order and mail to save the dates that's the one thing we checked off and we can say that we did that otherwise we did very little in regards to the austin plan that is still potentially happening especially now that we're down in texas we are going to try to get up to austin to do a couple of wedding things now that things are feeling a little bit better um but that i didn't plan any of that in quarter two because i didn't know if or when it was going to be happening it's not happening the same week i originally had planned so i'm glad i didn't actually make any plans and it's not going to be as spread out the goal for this trip is to get the catering and the cake done it was also to get engagement photos but i don't think we're going to try to do that one i think it's just going to be the catering and the cake and originally i was going to spread it out we were going to stay a whole week and i was going to do like one of each per day so that we could enjoy it and it was going to be like a week-long process and now i think we're going to try and just get in do as many as we can in two days and then get out whatever we get to those are our options because it's just not worth the exposure to us at this point um for those things so we're just going to get in and do some things and get out but in summary in terms of this goal we didn't really do a whole lot all right the next goal was my plan with Lakin related goal and that was to get consistency on other platforms so use my content planner Instagram Pinterest Facebook I wouldn't say that I completely finished this goal like I still have work to do here but man I definitely made some progress I think I finally found a rhythm with planning Instagram content in advance but yet still posting things when they come to me I think I found a groove with sharing things on Facebook and Pinterest but not recreating the wheel with all of that. And I finally, I finally do feel like I have a system for all of that. Whether I actually stick to the system all the time, that's what I'm still working on. But in terms of, of creating a system that works for me, I think I did that. So I'm, I'm really proud with the progress I made on this goal. And it's gonna take some more time to actually solidify it in my routine. But for now, I'm happy with it. All right, the next goal was to spend less time on social media. And while I think the last few weeks I didn't really do as good of a job with this, I think I overall decreased the amount of time I'm spending on social media compared to prior quarters. So I would call this one a win. Same as the plan with Lake and Goal. I still have work to do here. I still think that there will be benefits for me if I spend even less time than I am spending on social media. But I do feel like I made progress in this in this way. And I also think I've kind of figured out what works for me a little bit. And that's a big piece of goals too, right? Is figuring out what works and what doesn't work for you because there are so many ways to accomplish a goal. There are so many ways to spend less time on social media. It can be limiting my times of day. It can be limiting my total time for the day. It can be limiting a day completely. I found that that one, like eliminating a full day, staying completely off on Sunday, as much as I love it, actually hasn't been working well for me. I had an idea that I saw my friend Tammy share on Instagram that I might try, and that was still spending 24 hours off, but instead of doing all day on Sunday, which at the end of the day when you consider you're sleeping it's actually more than 24 hours to do like 5 p.m on saturday to 5 p.m on sunday so that might be something that i try so it's still 24 hours off of social media although i'm sleeping you know like eight of them but it's i still have time on it on saturday and i still have time on it on sunday but i'm spending a whole day off of it 
Right now, I'm still gonna keep working on my daily limit, which is my phone tells me when I've hit my limit. And some of the days I've been overwriting it because it's like 4 p.m. and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna be off social media for the rest of the day. But on a day where I hit it at like seven or eight, I'm like, all right, fine, I'll stay off for the rest of the evening. So I think I'm gonna at least keep that setting on my phone so that I have to think about it when I want to stay on social media for more cumulative time that day. Okay, the next one was my physical health related goal and that was to focus on nutrition. So eat more vegetables, focus on my protein, there was a devotional I wanted to do. I, I just, I, no. <laughs> I didn't do any of this. I turned to food for comfort and it just, I needed a lot of comfort this quarter. So I ate a lot of ice cream and cookies and it just, just didn't happen. It's not that it was a bad goal and it's something I definitely want to try again in the future, but it just didn't work for this season that we were in. You know, I set these goals with the mindset of being at home but I didn't set these goals knowing how I was gonna feel during that time and knowing what I was gonna need mentally. And food was just something that I needed. And that's a whole nother issue that I need to work on someday in the future. But for now, it just didn't, it didn't work this quarter. All right, and then the last goal was consistent communication with my friends. This was my friendship goal. And this one I felt like I did a great job of. I mean, it helped that we were all at home, but between FaceTime calls and texting and letters and all kinds of things, I felt like I did a really great job staying in constant communication with my friends. I feel like I talked to friends that I hadn't talked to in a very long time. I think the wedding situation also helped with that. Like they would get the save the date and they text me and then we would catch up. That one was probably the most successful of any of them, truthfully. It overall, I, I mean, I gave checks on like four, maybe not even three and a half. So it wasn't the greatest quarter, but given the situation that we were in, are in, I'm still proud of it. I'm still proud of the progress that I did make on my overarching goals. And that's one of the biggest things I think I've been trying to remember when it comes to goal setting and life in general, that we set the goal here. And if we can get to here, great, that would be awesome. But without the goal being set to here, you would have just been continuing to operate here. So even if you only get to here, that's still better than being down here, which is where you were before. And my specific example for this is drinking more water. For the past two months, I've had a goal to drink five of my 20 ounce cups of water every day. And I truthfully, haven't been doing a great job of getting that last fifth one done but I've been getting four and that's probably better than what I was doing before. So even if I'm not getting all the way to the goal that I've set for myself, I'm getting 80% of the way there and that's better than the probably 40 to 60% of the way I was getting before I set that goal. So just keep that in mind when you don't feel like you are getting to 100%. If you are getting further than before you set this goal and started focusing on it, that's improvement. And that's going to make a difference in your life in the long run. Okay, let's flip to my quarter three goals, which I'm excited about. I'm always excited about new goals, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm always like energized and ready to talk about new goals and the next thing. I'm always like, when, where's the next thing? So I'm always excited and energized. I need to make sure I just carry that throughout the rest of the quarter. So this quarter, instead of setting eight goals on the eight areas of my life, I'm actually only doing six. I've eliminated two of my goals for a couple of reasons. One is, we're in a different location and things look really different right now, at least for July and August, we are in Texas and it, it looks different. And so I don't have as much time or even control over my time. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like if my family decides to show up, my entire weekend plans, I mean, I could do them, but I'm gonna hang out with my family instead. So it's just not totally as much in, in my control. And so I thought maybe less would be more. Although when you see the six goals I have set, two of them have like, multiple parts so it's almost like i have eight goals i just kind of lumped them into another category so the two that i've eliminated for this quarter are the apartment related goal like i'm not in my apartment how could i make progress on my apartment and i almost set a goal that was just about like space and it was going to be like keep a tidy space or keep a clean home and i was like stop <laughs> just you're pushing it at this point just eliminate that one the other one that i eliminated which might surprise you a little bit is physical health it's not that i'm not going to try and improve my physical health while i'm down here eat more vegetables move my body it's just that i'm not necessarily going to to focus on it i'm going to go with what feels right. I'm gonna go with what I wanna do in that moment. I find myself wanting to be more active here. Like I wanna go for walks because it's really nice outside and there's nobody around. But I'm not, I'm not 
focusing on it. There is one goal that I set, which you'll see that I can kind of lump some physical things into if I do want to focus in on them. But for now, I kind of just want to let that one go a little bit because I think that I put too much pressure on myself with that one because it's something that I resist. Like I don't want to eat vegetables and I don't necessarily want to work out even though I know that I should do both of those things. And so I think for now, I'm just gonna kind of let it go a little bit, a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not gonna work out for three months. I'm just not gonna make crazy health related goals in my power sheets this quarter. So let's start with the first goal, which is the friendship color in my power sheets. But the goal is Black Lives Matter. If you have been around the past couple of weeks, I have shared on Instagram, I've shared in vlogs, in Lattes with Lakin, that I am here to make change. I am here to use my voice and my strength and my determination to do my part to help ensure that the black members of our society feel safe and equal to the rest of us. And so I decided to make it a goal. I decided that it needed to be an overarching goal this quarter so that I am focused every single month doing something to help move the needle. And whether that's internal work with me, whether that's conversations in my inner circle, whether that's externally sharing with my community, whether that's donating, whatever it looks like, I want to make sure that I'm focused on it. So the couple of ideas that I listed in my power sheets are read, watch, listen, make a plan, work on my launch pad planner and share. If you haven't heard about the Launchpad Planner, I will link it below. It is a free downloadable workbook that my friend Nina put together to help launch you to work on yourself on becoming an anti-racist, to document, answer questions, take quizzes, to learn about yourself, to figure out what you can do, how you can help, and to write it all down because we like to write things down around here. And she needed a place to write it all down and knew that the community would need it as well. So she created a free downloadable, go download it, I am so excited to get started on mine. I'm probably not gonna wait till Q3 to start on it, but I wanna make sure that I do it and don't forget about it. That's why I wrote it down here. Okay, the next one is my mental health related goal. So last quarter I talked about how I actually knew what I wanted my next three mental health related goals to be. Like I knew what they were each gonna be and I just wasn't sure what order I was gonna do them in, but I'm really excited that this quarter I have chosen to write more. So I have always said, I always put myself in a box that said, I'm not a writer. I'm not a good writer. I don't write. I, I've never, I've never been a good writer. I'm not good at English. I'm not good at like reading comprehension section on the SAT. Like that's never been my thing. And that's not necessarily true. It doesn't have to be true. Like I'm the one saying that. So I want to work on my writing and I have a ton of different ideas on how I'm going to do that. The ones that I've written down here are morning pages, my write the word journal, my fear boss workbook, my best today guide, actually writing blog posts and maybe even sending out some plan with like an emails. So those are the ideas I have to just get myself to write more. I want to get to a place where I could just write without thinking and having a structure and a prompt, but that's, that's going to take time to get there. So these are the tools that I'm going to use to start now. And I need to figure out like which ones I'm going to start when, because I'm not just going to pick them all up on July 1st and just write in all of them. I'm going to do them spread out over the quarter, but I just wanted to make sure I got all my ideas down on paper because I had a lot of them. Okay. The next category is plan with Lakin. And this is one of those that I actually have two goals for plan with Lakin. So the first one is to set up a project management tool. I have poked around in Trello and Asana for a while. Like I have tried a long time to figure out how to make them work for me and I'm still not quite sure how I'm gonna make them work for me. Like I've watched so many videos and free trainings and all these things, but I do think that it will be helpful in the long run to have a system in Trello and to be able to, or Asana, I haven't actually picked which one I'm gonna use, but to have a system that is all of my like plan with Lakin stuff. I've been doing it all in a spreadsheet and I just, there's so many tabs at this point in the spreadsheet, like content ideas, analytics, Instagram posts, like all these things. And I just need to get them in a project management system because I think it will just make things easier for me. The other plan with Lake and Goal is to create a community. So this is the first time I'm actually saying this out loud. I don't have any details for you yet. I haven't finalized exactly what this looks like and what, what, what we're gonna be doing and what we're gonna be talking about, but I am working on something because I know that being a part of a community can help you achieve your goals so much faster. And I want to create that and support you in all of it. So I'm working on that. I don't have an official date yet. The goal is to have it by the end of 
Q3, so sometime before September 30th. Okay, the next one is the wedding category. And again, I have two major goals that are part of this category. So the first one is our trip to Austin to plan and to execute on it. So we picked dates um, that we're gonna go up there, but I need to email like catering companies and cake companies and get that going. And that's another one I think I need to start now um, because we are trying to go at the end of July. And so I need to start working on that and start reaching out to people, kind of like the launch pad planner. I want to start it now, even though it's really going to be something I want to make sure I check off in Q3. So I think I'm going to start working on it now, but executing it and then making sure I didn't forget about it is why it's on this piece of paper. The next wedding related goal is to pick bridesmaids dresses. So originally I had this cool plan that I was so excited about to have all of my bridesmaids come to Chicago for a girls weekend, not for a bachelor party, just a girls weekend where we would just go dress shopping and it would be just my bridesmaids and we would get to know each other. I mean, I know all of them, but they don't know each other and it would be very casual. Like we were just going to stay at my mom's. I mean, obviously we could still go. It's not like that you can't fly right now, but I don't personally feel comfortable flying. Um, I mean, I could drive to Chicago, but I don't want to ask my other bridesmaids to do that, to either get on a plane or to drive to Chicago. So that is no longer happening, which is a huge bummer. It was just something that I was really looking forward to, um, getting to have them all meet for the first time and then to be able to like sit there and have them try on dresses and, and figure out what everybody likes and what style works best for everybody's body type. And I just, I was so looking forward to it, but that's okay. I still get to pick out dresses. So I have been talking to my mom kind of about maybe her and my sister will go try some stuff on in person and FaceTime me. We're st I'm still trying to figure out all the logistics around that, but I know I need to kind of choose soon because while they don't take quite as long as a wedding dress to make, um, they still recommend that you order dresses, especially if you're ordering, you know, in a specific color and not just ordering off the rack pretty far in advance. So that's something that I definitely want to get done this quarter. Okay. The next goal is my quote unquote memory keeping related goal. But as I mentioned before, getting the photos organized on my phone is an everything goal. It would help my mental health. It would help plan flake in. It would obviously help memory keeping. It is just something that needs to get done. And so very specifically, during quarter three, I did the math and I rounded up because I know that I'll miss days and I'll take more photos. So if I go through and either delete or categorize 500 photos a day, which feels like a lot, and we're gonna just have to see how long it's gonna take me. I'm probably, what I'm probably gonna do is do a test run in June and do 500 photos and time it and see how long it takes me so that I can put it into my calendar for July. But I'm gonna do 500 photos a day that I need to either delete or categorize and then I will be done by September 30th. That is the goal, wish me luck. All right, and then my last quarter three goal is sort of a catch-all almost for anything else that doesn't fit into any of these other categories, but it is my routine goal and I have labeled it solidify existing routines. So there are a lot of things that I have established, a lot of routines and habits that I've established over the past six months that I don't want to lose. So what this category is, is if I want to work on any of those things that I've already done, I can't add new things that doesn't fit into one of the other categories, but if there is something that I've already done that I want to make sure Sure I keep doing consistently, whether that's daily or weekly or monthly, then it falls into this category. So the high level categories I've put here are morning, evening, social media, meal plan, cleaning, and workout. Pretty much anything that isn't one of those other categories. But the caveat here is it has to be something that I've done before. It can't be new. It can't be like, oh, I want to add this thing to my morning routine. Nope. It has to be already a part of what I'm doing now. And I just want to have a place to check it off to hold me accountable. So you'll probably see things like, my morning routine, drinking my water, meal planning every week. Th again, things that you've seen the past six months that I just want to keep working on. So that's it. Those are my quarter three goals. Those are all the things that I wanna work on July, August, and September. There's so much still up in the air. I think it's really tough right now to maybe feel like you can set goals because we don't know when we're gonna be traveling again. We don't know when we're going to be going back to work in the in the office physically and that might change some of our goals. So it can be really hard to set goals on a quarterly basis, but do your best. 
that's that's what I'm gonna tell you here because I think that having something specific to focus on over 90 days, something that you can feel like you checked off at the end of September will make a huge difference in your goal setting journey. So give it a go. Let me know down in the comments. Are you also breaking down your goals into quarterly goals or are you just sticking with annual goals? I'd love to get a feel for how many of you are also kind of on this quarterly goal path that I'm on. Uh, I think it will help me when I make other content and talk about other things. So let me know down in the comments. Are you also breaking things down quarterly or are you keeping them more of a high level annual focus? I would love to know. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Like extra, extra, extrapolate, extrapolate. Are you going upstairs? I love you. And I've also, I've all, uh, what? Over the long run? In the long run. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Excuse me, fly. Please get off of the camera.